Former Roscommon footballer Neil Patrick Collins was one of the key speakers for ESOC's Enterprise Week in DCU last week. The former DCU welfare officer attributed a lot of his success to the clubs and societies that he was involved in, which included the GA club and the Style Society. Colin spoke to students about making your passion your paycheck and how his personal experiences in DCU got him to where he is today. Uh, I kind of felt that I could get a balance between playing football and, and living that lifestyle as well. And so, so that's kind of what I chased after the first year. So it is like, I guess when I was thinking about this the last day or two, um, being in here and looking back on my time, like a lot of the decisions I made that led to what I'm doing now happened when I was in DCU. So if I think of like um, my football side, I obviously kept that going for a couple of years. Uh, I'm just taking a small break at the moment um, from playing. And then a lot of the stuff I did with say the Style Society, that really influenced the direction I went in after DCU. So that's why I, I guess, I think it's so important this time for you guys. Not every decision, like even if you're studying, I don't know, um, business, a and F, that doesn't necessarily have to be the direction you go in. I think actually the things you learn at this time, maybe you'll learn that you don't want to go in that direction. And if that's what you take out of it, that's, that's great as well. But basically, it's a good, it's a really shaping time for, for you guys and um, what will happen going forward. And you might be able to see it exactly now, but the small decisions you make will lead on to what you do in the future. I spoke to the founder of the Style Surgeon about his career move back home in Roscommon and the reaction that he got to it. Um, I think it just happened gradually, you know, when I was um, showing up to training in, in, in extravagant outfits and things like this. I think then it wasn't so much of a shock when I just gradually transitioned into to, to having an interest in that. He also told DCU TV about veering away from his original sports science degree to follow his passion for fashion. Yeah, it, it can be it can be challenging, all right, to break away from the, the grips of, of of the normal paths, you know. Um, it definitely can, but I, at the same time, I guess you just have to go with your, your, your feeling on it and, and go all the way with it and, uh, I guess, try and embrace it as much as possible. But it can be challenging, but I guess that's the joy in it as well, you know. Um, and I think that's, the you know, there's, there's good living and there's good life in that. This is Lauren Ennis for DCU TV News.